thanks so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia play. I'm so excited that we're back. I feel like I haven't been able to talk to you guys in so long. Like we've been extremely busy, um, which is a good thing, but also we've enjoyed our time being off. And so I'm so happy though, now that everything's wrapped up and coming to a close on certain things, that I'm back with you guys. So in this week's vlog, I just wanted to get in touch back with our roots. We do have a project that we did out in our deck area. So you'll see that transformation. Um, it's been a process, so we'll have that, the deck project will span the course of three vlogs. So next week you'll see furniture and then the following week you'll see all of the decor and everything come together so we can really enjoy it and get ready for the last couple of weeks of summer. Um, but the kids went back to school today. Thank the Lord, <laughs> it's so quiet um, in the house. So, you know, I'm praying that they have a great day today and that they're just um, having a great school year all together. And all of the kids that went back as well, that we keep them safe in schools and make sure that, you know, they get to school and come home safely. So with this week's vlog again, um, just going back and touching with our touching roots again with our DIY skills. So we did a whole DIY project with our deck. It was intense. It was hot. I'm like, why do we keep choosing to do projects in the summer? I don't, I don't know what's up with that. But before getting into that, we had so much fun while we were gone for this last month. Um, so you guys know that me and Matt has celebrated our 12 year wedding anniversary. I was so stuck on 13 years. I was like, no, we've been together 13 years. And he was like, no, it's 12 years. We got married in 2010. I'm like, oh yeah, it's, it's 12 years. So <laughs> been together for 18, but married for 12 years. So we decided to go to Rome. It was a spontaneous trip. That was not a trip that we were planning on going. Um, we ended up taking my mother-in-law as well. So she got to enjoy it with us. Um, but Rome was amazing. The best Italian food that I've had. I love Italian food. Mexican is my, my number one um, favorite food, but I do love Italian food and it was amazing. Like I keep thinking about that lasagna that I had and the carbonara and um, what else did I have? I don't know, I had so much things that, so many good things that it's just so hard to remember every single thing, but the gelato, that was amazing. So I missed that. I'm pretty sure I put on a couple of pounds since the last time you guys see me, but I'm enjoying my best life. I'll figure it out one day. So anyhow, um, so we did that. So that was a great trip. Um, we also, let's see, we were kid free for three weeks. My parents took them. So thank you, mom and dad. Um, so they went to California and they had a good time as well. What else did we do? So um, we took on three new clients. Um, if you guys are aware that I did put up a Facebook post, I also put up a Instagram and a YouTube post that Matt and I are offering our services. So um, anybody that wants a fireplace build or accent walls, any trim work, carpentry skills, anything like that, we most definitely can help you with that. So make sure that you either leave me a comment below or email me at thisgeorgiaclay at gmail.com. And we'll be sure to make sure that we get back to you and take care of any needs that you might have. Um, but yeah, we had three clients that took us up on our offer and um, we ended up completing, actually no, four clients, I take that back. So we had, the first two clients were in our neighborhood, which was awesome because we were able to do those projects after work. Cause again, we still work a full-time job. So these are things that we're doing in our free time. Um, so two of them were baby nurseries, which were so cute. So we did some accent walls. I'm pretty sure Matt will insert some photos of those. Um, and then also we have Pamela that we're still currently working on her project. Um, she has a fireplace that she had us build in her sitting room. And with fireplaces, they take some time because you do have to make sure that you build the framing and you have to come back and put ship up on it and then make it all pretty and painted and all that. So that is something that is taking um, a while, but I did tell her that it's gonna be the span over two weekends. Cause again, I do work, so we kind of just work around it, but she's been more than accommodating and um, she hasn't had any issues or anything with it. So we'll be back at her house probably tomorrow and then Saturday as well. So anyhow, um, we were doing working on her project and she, um, right now currently loves her fireplace. And I love to be able to see when their the projects or designs are starting to come to life because at first, like when you think about it and you're talking to a client and you're asking them, you know, what they prefer or whatnot, I try not to push what I like in my home, as you guys know, I like white, black neutrals. So it's been interesting to say the least for me to get out of that comfort zone because not all my clients want that, but a couple of them have wanted white, but just a different variation of shade of white, which I didn't know there were so many different shades of white, like it's crazy. But one of them I really liked, which was Snowbound, which I should have painted my room Snowbound, but we decided to keep extra white. But I painted that in one of the nurseries and it was so beautiful. It's just like a nice, creamy, soft white, so. 
maybe one day I can get snowbound somewhere in this house. Um, and so then for Pamela, she wants a different color on her fireplace. It's a Turkish coffee. It's kind of like a brown color that will do. And um, I'm not a fan of different colors and whatnot. Um, not different colors. Like I love colors, but it just depends on shades of colors and it also depends on your color scheme within your house. So for her, it works. But in my house, you know, it was just, I was with a, co a certain color scheme. So I'm going to stick to my color scheme, but it's, it, it brings me out of my comfort zone to see everyone else have different approaches to their home. And I'm loving it because you guys give me the opportunity to encompass color somewhere else. So I love that. Um, so again, I have been waiting for you guys. Like I said, I haven't had anyone to talk to except for Matt <laughs> for this, this month. Um, so I'm excited to be back and, you know, to tell you guys everything that's going on. We have a lot of partnerships that we have for this month. Um, I know next month we're doing another project for wall planks down in our basement. We're going to start our basement project then. Um, also, finally, I have decided that I'm going to show you guys our kids' rooms. So they finally gave us permission to go in their rooms and film and finish up their spaces. Again, um, their rooms have been done for quite some time, but there's just little things that need to be completed in their rooms, like dressers and putting some things on the wall. And then my 10-year-old, Leah, we actually need to do her room in its entirety. Um, we haven't done anything whatsoever. <laughs> I feel bad because she has everything in her room, like she has her bed and all that. She has her um, headboard and things and other things as well, but we just haven't put anything up. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna give her an accent wall treatment. I really wanna do something cute in her room where I wanna encompass color, but it'll be in the form of wallpaper. So I wanna do like a board and batten treatment on the bottom of the wall around the whole room and then like wallpaper at the top. So still thinking of what colors that I wanna do. I know her colors are pink and blush, um, excuse me, blush and gray in her room. So I wanna make sure that I stay true to that and I don't get all over the place and just buy everything that looks cute. So that'll be something that we'll do. And now those projects will come in the month of the later part of September into October. So we have a lot going on. So from August to October, we don't plan on taking any breaks but we will take breaks when it comes to the holidays. So in November, December, just like normal. Um, but for the time being, we have a lot of projects. So you guys have a lot of this Georgia clay coming at you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the vlog. Man, we have some of the best neighbors. So shout out to our next door neighbors um, for, for letting us borrow their pressure washer. Uh, we haven't really had a need for one up until now, but uh, it definitely came in handy to get all that the old dirt and um, you know to get the uh, wood kind of refreshed and ready prepped and uh, ready to stain so we appreciate you deck is only about a year old but when we moved in we never actually took the time to uh, seal it or you know coat it with any kind of stain or even a clear coat um, we kind of just let it be because we knew at some point we were gonna do something with it so we just wanted to pressure wash it to get all that you know that first layer of old rain and dirt and everything else that kind of stuck to it and it over time it got a little bit dry so we just wanted to kind of peel back that first layer uh, as much as we could to kind of get down back to the fresh wood. And after letting it sit for about three days to make sure that it was fully dried out, um, well, the, the directions on the stain say to, after you clean the deck, uh, to let it sit for about 24, 48 hours. But we let it sit for about three days just to make sure that it was all the way dry before we started putting stain on it, um, you know, to avoid any peeling or bubbles and stuff like that. So here we actually broke out the, the Wagner sprayer uh, 3500 that we used on our Arbor. I don't know if you guys saw that video. Feel free to check that out. Um, but yeah, the Wagner actually sent that to us um, to use on our previous project in the backyard. So we decided to, you know, give it another try. Um, you know, you can never practice too much. Practice makes perfect. So we broke that out. We did have to actually water it, uh, water our stain down a little bit because it was really thick. 
So we put a little bit of water in there just to get it to spray a little bit better and it made a huge difference. So if you guys are ever dealing with really thick paint or thick stain, um, you know, definitely feel free to go ahead and put a little bit of water in it to dilute it some and it makes it easier for the spray to actually, you know, get it out. So you'll see here it's looking better already. Um, Brittany didn't want to. We, we didn't want to try to try to put plastic up all over the back of the house, or you know, risk getting a, a little bit of overspray on the stone. So we decided to take a brush and actually stain the first board closest to the house by hand, and also the railing that's closest to the stone on the back of the house. We did that by hand, and then sprayed everything else just so we can get a little bit of you know distance away to make sure that we didn't get anything on the house. Um, you know, but it, it worked out pretty good and then we loaded up the sprayer and went back at it. So we ran out of stain. So when I get off work today, then we'll go and get some more stain. We got the stain, the bare stain from Home Depot. So we'll just run over there and get another refill. You know, we actually tried to do some of this by hand and we thought about rolling everything as well. But you know, that's when we, uh, we realized our mistake and quickly broke out that Wagner and man, what a difference it made. So. Uh, we definitely recommend it if you guys are interested we'll go ahead and put a link to the sprayer down in the description it's the flexio 3500 that we're using right now and wow it, it we were able to do this the whole deck probably in about four maybe four or five four hours or so if we did this by hand it probably would have took us all day so it definitely sped up the work we definitely recommend it sometimes lose sometimes no need to apologize it was the distance between us it broke us down in disguise no need to apologize ooh, 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 ooh. but i can help that i miss you now and i need to reminisce this cause ooh, 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 ooh. we're still at our moments and they keep coming back to me i can't help that i miss you now So after we did everything kind of like that that good first coat we went back and touched up gave everything a light second coat and then kind of just went around filled in the, any missing spots that we had missed earlier like the the back sides of the rails uh you know any creases crevices that we needed to kind of spray into uh and then went around the whole deck and filled in the any spots that we did earlier gave everything kind of a fresh second coat so everything came out pretty good can say i like it and you'll see that we didn't stain underneath the deck because eventually we want to put some ceiling panels a ceiling fan and maybe even screen the whole bottom in 
so that'll all be covered up so we didn't you know we didn't want to waste any extra stain and uh we just left it bare guys so thank you so much again for tuning in this week to this georgia clay please let me know in the comments what you guys think of our deck transformation i think that it looks absolutely gorgeous it goes with the house of keeping that white and black theme um i also wanted to like as i'm standing in the kitchen and i look to my right and i see our slider out to the deck i wanted it to be a natural flow where it looked as if the inside was going outside so you'll see that next week what i mean more in depth but i just wanted to be a natural like an extension of the house so again thank you guys so much for tuning in this week matt and i are so glad to be back and again we're getting back to our roots of doing diys and getting our house just finishing up on some projects that we might have started and need to complete and then also starting new projects as well so that way we can truly feel like this is our home and we can set some roots um, for a little bit but more to come on that so again next week we will show you guys the transformation of including furniture i cannot wait for that because you know your girl went shopping um so you'll see that as well so again thank you guys so much for tuning in this week please make sure that you like subscribe share it with a friend and we'll see you guys next week bye guys